What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo. This is episode 42 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are at the Altar of the Moon with an E at the end of it. So it's like Moone. Moone. And we just finished the vast pony canyon. And now we're going to play a little music. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to stand on this pedestal. And we're going to blow the moon flute. Which is only one word off of being an innuendo. But we won't get into that. I think we should wait until the moon has risen. No. Tell me I'm gated and I cannot continue this until... Okay, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, they just wait till it's night time. It's night time right now. Well, I guess I don't know what time the game thinks 5 o'clock is, but... I know Moon reverses it, but that's fine. Got a little music going on. Ooh, very cool. Ah. Ooh, shiny. I can't forget why we're doing We're doing this to save Nebby. Opening up a portal. Get it, Nebby! Yeah, <laughs> he's flying in the backpack. Arise, my champion. Wakey, wakey. Wow, Nebby. <laughs> Nebby. Look at him. Very cool. Cosmog. You little guy. Nebby, thank goodness you're all right. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. I never imagined that sounding the flutes would give you so much power or let you evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Mahina! Not in all of my reading, never did I ever come across any hint that you would evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Please, Lunala. How do you know it's called Lunala? Nebby, please, I need to see my mother. Mahina, Pia. You know what? You understand? He's gonna take us to the underworld. Nebby. Whoa! Did you see it turn white? Ah! It changed color. And then we just went like bobbity boopity ghost dad right into the Is that what the shiny version looks like? No, it's just night. Ghost world. Ultra space. Can I ride an ultra stoutland in here to sniff around? Get a little doggerino senses. Well, this place isn't creepy at all. How surprising. It's more beautiful than I would have expected. No, it's not. It's dark. The air is so thick here, it almost hurts to breathe. Are you scared? Mm-mm. Z-form. I'm not sure. Nebby evolved, and I'm in a different world, and there's just too much that has happened. Yeah, a lot's happened. We should go. Leave? Now? In our moment of victory? Mahina, Pia. What are you saying? What is it? Exclamation mark. Are you telling us that we have to stay here? Mahina Pia! I'm, I'm grateful for you bringing me here, Nebby. Thank you. I guess I have to go the rest of the way myself. Mahina Pia! So, that's... Oh, Rotom. He ain't saying anything. He ain't talking. He ain't real. He's asleep. 
He's a little sleepy guy. Look, it's Guzma. I'm the Team Skull boss, and I've never been scared of nothing or nobody. Heck, I live my life making people scared of me. So listen to what Big Bad Guzma has to say. Y'all are stupid. Oh, <laughs> good one. How in the world did you even get to this place? I have no idea how you did it, but here you are. It's all dark here. I've got no clue what's going on, but there's beasts everywhere. I tried to catch one of those things. Flashback. Ha 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 ha. He ran into it. That's how he wanted to catch it. By literally sprinting towards the Pokemon. But it possessed me. And that's when it happened. My body, my mind, they started running wild and I couldn't do anything about it. It was like I became someone else and I finally felt like what fear feels like. It was terrifying. I may be the Team Skull boss, but I've never been scared of nothing or nobody. But you already said that. That lady, she's on another level. She's way far gone. She lost her mind over these Ultra Beasts. There's no talking to her, no reasoning with her. She's just gone. Nope. That doesn't change anything. I still have to go. Good job, Lily. What about me? Guzma, you gonna fight me again? Nope. We step forward, we're gonna get tossed around. We're playing for keeps, this ain't no lost and found. But I'm a double down, baby rolling the dice. That's lyrics from Cabbage Crew's The Return. Google it. Look, there she is. Look at it, the world of my Ultra Beasts. A world where the only thing that exists is the love between Nihilego and myself. So beautiful, so delicious. This is the real paradise. Urgh, and yet you? Why must you continue to pester me? I am sick of you, sick through and through. Who told you that you could come here? To this perfect, beautiful world of my beasts and me. You don't own the place just because you got here first. Although I guess that is, that's kind of how the world's been for a while. Actually, no, it's the people who came there last that get it, right? Right, Christopher? Last name Columbus. Murderer. Think about what you're saying. What about Mr. Guzma? Don't you care what happens to him? Why would you care about what happens to Guzma? He's a tool. Hmm. Just leave. I don't need you here. I don't need you any longer. Ah. Look at you. Look at this beautiful world that I finally come to. You want me to go back to that world? That's what you came to bother me for? Even you cannot be that stupid. I don't want to hear this Pokemon's chirp anymore. It's annoying me. You always do that. Just like it was back at Aether Paradise, only thinking of yourself and what you want. What? And why shouldn't I? I can live here in a world filled with only the things that I love, and I will live here. She doesn't love her own children. You're kind of a bitch there. I don't care if you are my child or not. I don't care if you were loyal to me or not. I don't care if you're the rarest Pokemon there is in the world or not. If you're not beautiful enough to be worthy of my love, then I don't need you. She says. Wow. <laughs> it's the most shallow boss I've ever seen in a game. Unless, is there one that's always... Is there another boss that's like beautiful? I guess... Genova in Final Fantasy 7 was kind of like beautiful, beautiful, even though she got like hideously malformed and beast like. That's right, all I need to exist in this, in my world, the things that I want to have with me, everything else is just a bother to me. Wow, you're so one minded. I am the one that's sick of you, mother. Children, children are not just things that belong to their parents. Pokemon are not just things. Oh my god, I can't. 
This conversation is so weird. Beautiful, not beautiful. I am alive. Cosmog is alive. We are not things for you to collect. We're not made for you to just discard when you're when you get bored with us. That is terrible, mother. You are terrible. Meh. Terrible? Me? How am I different from any Pokemon trainer? Like your little friend there. What do you do with Pokemon you can't use? You remove it from your party as you please. That's true. Enough of this useless talk, Lily. I will never forgive you for stealing Cosmog from me. Never! Back when you were small, you would listen to everything I said without question. For a time, even you were adorable to me. But you've changed. You've become ugly. Ever since you met this boy, Geo, and learned to defy your mother. Geo, you hateful little trainer. How dare you intrude upon this world that was meant for Nihilego and me. It is not to be born. And with Nihilego's power, I will show you how wrong you were to come here. Alright, show me. I'm gonna beat you, then you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway, and nothing's gonna change, and the Nihilego's gonna disappear, and you have very green eyes. Beautiful. That's a beast ball. You're gonna get absorbed into the Nihilego? Oh, It's like a Reuniclus. In the computer. What? Uh. <laughs> Can I catch it though? <laughs> Can I put Lily's mom into a Pokeball? Aether President Lusa mean. Oh no, it's just. Okay. No, it's just how she looks prior to throwing a Pokeball. Are they all totemed out? All right, this is all right. Now we're getting real. We're getting real here, people. Level 50 Clefable. Shoot. I mean, I'm still a higher level, but Zam. Uh, let's sing this so I don't take too much damage against this Clefable. Ah, I missed. Shoot. Maybe I should have just gone for it. Hyper Beam. Uh oh. Oh yeah, Clefable is not very strong. Well, now I get two free attacks against it. Might as well just Sparkling Aria. I can probably two-hit KO. If I'd been smart and just attacked it from the get-go. Oh, God, I forgot. It's, uh... Well, let's sing it now. Okay. Got a guaranteed turn of sleep here. Uh, so maybe I can get a couple of attacks off on it. It'll be stronger for me to hit it with a Fairy-type... Or well, with... Moon Blast, since it's 5 pow BP strong. Oh, uh, yeah, we get one turn of sleep on it. Which will make up for the other Mist Sing that I got before. If I get another one, we're at plus one turn on this. I do get another one, and I think that means we get to take out Clefable having only taken one attack from it. Um, actually, I'm not sure that this will kill. I might get it really low. No, it does take it out. It's a crit. I don't know if the crit mattered. Let's m use some of my team here. McBro is level 53. Lilligant. Uh, yeah, let's move it around. Let's give Bugnitude a chance to shine. Even though it's got all physical moves. Most bizarre thing ever. Charge a bug. Super high attack stat. Super Beast, and then it evolves into something really, like, honestly, really high special attack. And I'm just, I got nerfing. So, X Scissor is uh, 80 base power, stab 120, versus Acrobatics. Yeah, X Scissor is the better move here. Oh, no. Teeter Dance Spam. Don't do this to me. Don't make this game about that. I hate... I hate confusion. Pedal dance, I resist. But I'm still confused and that did so much damage because these are totem Pokemon, boys. Oh my god, almost got the kill. But it outspeeds me, so I might go down here. 
I could switch into something else to take this. I could try and do this battle without death. Uh, Incineroar will resist. And is probably faster than Bugnitude. Maybe not faster than a Lilligant, than a Totemed Out Lilligant. That did so much to Bugnitude. Before I make that switch, let's check some stats here. So, uh, my... Defense and special defense are that. 122. So I'm actually less defensive. So Bugnitude, he didn't take that so great. So actually I probably couldn't take two on Incineroar either. So it's probably not the smartest move for me to switch like that. Primarina obviously can't take it. Uh, Biggie Mac is pretty defensive. Um, pretty defensive and is Dragon. So I still resist it. Yeah, yeah, let's switch into Biggie Mac. See if I can take two. No, can't take two. Shoot, that sucks. Well, let's just uh, let's just sack Biggie Mac then. Oh yes! Went for Leech Seed and missed. What a fortunate, what a fortunate turn of events. So Lilligant goes down. That's going to earn a big amount of EXP for those Pokemon. Beware. Fighting normal. Uh, so let's go Decidueye here. Who is ghost type and is immune to both of your stab. Carry your weight for once, Decidueye. Carry your weight. Leaf Blade, only thing I can really do here. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, Pain Split. It actually hurt itself. <laughs> pain Splitting me, that's pretty funny. Uh, I've got Recovery here. So we can just... Uh, Slight heal. Um, there really isn't much else Beware can do here. Which is probably why it's spamming this move. So it's going to keep healing itself and whittling me down a little bit while healing itself up a little bit. But I am... This is going to be a battle that I can win unless he has a coverage move. I'm assuming he's got something like Hammer Armor Close Combat. He's got, I don't know, Double Edge, Body Slam, something like that. Pain Split, and I'm not sure what else. If it's Rest, I might cry on video, on camera, right here. Because the thing is, I can always roost. I can always get this health back. And we're trying to do this battle for real. We're trying to take this... We're trying to win this battle with no, no losses. Because all these Pokemon are totemed out. All of them are like cute too. I'm now, I'm now realizing the, the kind of, the, the theme behind her Pokemon here. Beware is like a cute, cuddly, beautiful uh, teddy bear. Clefable is a fairy, it's beautiful and gorgeous. Lilligant is like elegant. What else she got? Maybe like a cutie fly. Did she have a Rabombi? What is that? Attack for Oh god, he's got baby doll eyes. I got a crit! Heck yes. Heck. I'm gonna go for another baby doll eyes, and that should mean. Can I get it here? Oh my god, Beware lives on one. But I think he's out. Yeah, there we go. I was able to take him out because I'm faster than him. So, And Baby Doll Eyes only went first because it has the priority. So luckily, Decidueye is able to take on that Pokemon. My attack stat has been decreased too much. Even though I do kind of want to keep this in for Miss Magius, I'm going to switch out. Incineroar will do the job here. 
So Miss Magius, I guess I could see is like a beautiful Pokemon. And it's kind of an ugly witch. Wicked witch. Well, Darkest Larry at this. I resist the bug stab. She got Mystical Fire, which I also resist. But she does get the special attack drop. Shucks. If I were to level up right now and get and learn a special attack move, it would be weaker. Miss Magus goes down even when she's totemed out. Incineroar hitting that 57. Dinging with style. And finish this off with Milotic. So, Decidueye would be a pretty good switch here. Uh, except that he's weakened. Could roost up. But bro, I want to give a shot here, but honestly, I mean, look at those stats. Special defense of 63. I, I just feel like he would go down. He wouldn't really be able to do much. Lil P can resist. And really put in some work, probably. But honestly, we're gonna we're gonna give Decidueye another chance to really do his thing. But we're gonna we're gonna roost first to see whether or not it's got an ice stab. Because if it does, I think it'll kill not I don't mean stab. Ice coverage. If it's packing If it's packing ice beam, this is why I probably can't handle this. So let's click roost. Oh, it's actually going to outspeed me, but it goes straight away for the Hydro Pump, which I resist, and it almost takes me out anyway. Oh, that was a crit. I was wondering. That seemed excessive. But if Melodic has ice coverage and goes for it now, I'm going to go for Safeguard. Okay, that gives me a chance to get up to full. That gives me some, some room to work with. I only have three Leaf Blades, uh, but that should do the job. Hydro Pump, resisted, no crit this time. That's a that's a strong attack. So Decidueye does pull his weight against that special defensive Pokemon instead of the primary defensive Pokemon, but Decidueye does do pretty good and picks up two kills in this battle. There we go. Oh, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure is the exact translation there. Ooh, Geo's serious right now. Get out of there, Lusamine. Leave those Pokemon alone. You're literally inside them right now. She's so upset that she got defeated that... Help us, please, Lunala. Shows up like lickety-split. Uses his third eye. And then gives him one of those slam to the jams. Come on in. Are they green eyes now? Open your green eye. Nope, still yellow. She's still crazy. Ha. Ha. She got some kind of powers? No, she's being exercised from her. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Pokemon stopped possessing her. Went back into the beast ball. Is he going to fall into her hand? No, it's going to fall to her side. Mother. Mother. Green eyes back, guys. We got green eyes, boys. Lily. Like stroking her inner ear. Lily's like, okay, stop it. Get your hand off me. Yes. She's determined now, though. Heh. Heh. Got your nose. Boop. She just booped. When did you start becoming beautiful? Come on. Come on, Lusamine, get over it. Get over the beauty. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Exclamation marks all around. Now there's only two of them. What's going on? And just when things were getting good. Oh, these things are. They, they'd be pissed. 
Horde battle. Horde battle with the Ultra Beast. There are so many Nihilego. They're angry because Lusamine is on the floor. Nebi is like, Mahina Pia. Oh, there goes Lusamine. She disapped. Did we just beast out of there? Whoa. Back we come. Back to the altar. Lusamine's still here, along with Hapu. I was so concerned, so I ascended, and what do I find but the legendary Pokemon? A strange hole in the sky. However, I'm relieved to see you all unharmed. Thank you, Hapu. Is my mother... Hapu's eyes are closed right now. She's like, yes, hmm, I see everything. You there, big fellow, carry the lady, will you? She is weak, but I do not believe that she is seriously harmed. We should take her to... <laughs> Guzma is like, oh. <laughs> Guzma's not that big of a fellow, honestly. Like a, I would say, an average-sized fellow. Geo, you have done well in, gu in guiding Lily, though she is not a trainer. And Lily, you two gave it your best. We will wait for you down below. When you are ready, come find us. Thank you, Hapu. You see, here's the interesting thing. This is the legendary Pokemon. You see it on the cover of the box of the game, which I have right here. See this? Do you see? Do you see? So that's Nebby right there on the, which leads me to believe. I wonder if you play the other game, is Nebby like a is Cosmog a slightly different looking Pokemon that becomes this one right here? Solgaio. Um, but yeah, returning to the point, how are how was the story gonna play out that I get to catch this Pokemon? It's the legendary Pokemon. It would be stupid if I don't get to catch it. I know I get to catch it. How's this gonna play out? I feel like it's gonna be Lily's gonna say something like. I'm not a trainer. I don't deserve this. And then it's going to be like, what's that? What's that, Nebby? Hmm, I agree. Geo, you should try and catch him. He wants to test you as a trainer and see how strong you are. And then she's going to, like, cheer you on when you catch her, like, her friend. Anyway, I bet it's going to happen now, is my guess. Lunala, all I ever wanted to do was help you get back to your own home, but instead you helped me over and over. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mahina. Ah, ah. What is it? You want Geo to catch you? Watch this. Watch this. Watch it happen right now. He turned to me. Exclamation mark. Shall I guess what it is you're trying to tell us? You... You want to keep on traveling together with Geo and me? Is that it? Mahina. Ah. <laughs> she giggles. Looks like I was right. Of course, I was. After all, we've been together for so long. We're family now, aren't we? Of course I can tell how you feel. Because I feel the same. We met so many people as we traveled around all of Alola's islands. Professor Kukui and Professor Burnett. Kahuna Hala and his grandson Hao. And of course, the hero who appeared to save you when the Spiro attacked. Your, our own Geo. And so many other people, too. I don't know what world you came what the world you came from is like, but Alola is pretty great too. Of course you want to see it all. It's just like Kahuna Hala told us. You can go so many places and meet so many Pokemon and people, and they will enrich your life. Mahina. Ah, ah. But not with me. I'm not a trainer, Nebby. I can't take you on the adventures you want. I can't give you the fierce battles you want. Geo. I want you to face Nebby, called it, called it, people, as only a trainer can, and I want you to give it a ball to call home. I know this is what Nebby wants. It doesn't want the journey with you to end, and I want you to grant it this wish. Hmm. Hmm. Zoom, a battle against Nebby, eh? Do your best to be found worthy. Let's save the game here. How long has this episode been? 29 minutes? All right, we'll catch Nebby, and that's going to be how we end this episode. With a quick Nebby catch. I bet if you beat it, it just says, like, No, I told you to catch me. Catch me, darn it. I need to bring it down to 1 HP, though. Nala appeared. How are we going to do this? I, I don't know his typing. Could be dark. Could be ghost. 
He's level 55. I shouldn't kill it with a sparkling Aria, but let's be safe anyway and hit it with an acrobatics, which is weaker. Oh good, he's got cosmic power, so I'm actually gonna have to start pounding this guy with some heart attacks. Heart attack. <laughs> wow. Okay. Moonlight beam. I'm specially defensive. Primarina has good def special defense. That is so powerful. That's a crit. No wonder. Neutral effectiveness there. Uh, can't let little P die here because uh, I need to be able to put this thing to sleep. So let's look at the health. We hit him for negligible damage with the... Uh, yeah, he's going to cosmic power again. I should put him to sleep now just to waste some of these potentially cosmic powering turns. Yeah, because he's getting too many now. He's up to plus three. But fortunately, I could just go straight into um, Incineroar and Darkest Lariat. I'm getting a lot of misses with the Sing here. I'm kind of rushing through this. Did that say Moonliest Beam? <laughs> or Moonlight Beam? I finally land the Sing. Uh, with how many turns I spent clicking it and missing, it actually ended up probably not being worth it. But this will allow me... I really don't think I'll live one on Incineroar. Even though Darkest Lariat is the most damage I can do to this thing. Let's do it anyway. We saved right before this battle. If I kill it, I imagine it'll let me battle it again. I don't mind if it takes me out. We're not trying to win this flawlessly. We're trying to catch this. And that means lowering its uh, lowering its HP. Just a smidgen bit more. So let's hit it with that Darkest Lariat. Ignore those plus three defense boosts it has. Oh god, it's super effective and I killed it. <laughs> Oh my god, no! It's gonna make me fight it again. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, see, it stands there. This, you'll probably heal me, right? No? Alright, let's lead. This time, let's lead with Incineroar. We're gonna try this one more time, guys, because that was three minutes of fun. Mahina, Pia. Okay, so it's Ghost. Cause, wait, no, it's not. It's not Ghost. It's Psychic? No, okay. It resisted. No, it was neutral. Okay, Fairy was neutral. So it's not dark. Well, we knew it wasn't dark. It's either Ghost or Psychic. Because it was... Because Darkest Lariat was super effective against... Oh, look! Now that we've battled it, we can see what's super effective and what's nert. Go ahead, Cosmic Power. Do I G-A-F? Nay, I do not. Verily. But if this Oko's it, I'm hoping it doesn't. Oh, brings it to red, though. So now if... Uh, See, I don't think Decidueye can take two hits. I'm gonna have to sack something. Well, no, I can send in a little P, and get a sing off on it, switch in, get a um. But it's gonna start cosmic powering. Maybe I should just gone straight. Night days. Not very effective. Seeing that. Moon Geist. Moon Geist Beam. Okay, that Geist is in, uh, like a poltergeist. So it's, it's gotta be Ghost. It's a spooky ghost. I live on four. I land the Sing. I can heal myself up with an item this turn. Or no, you know what I'll do? Um, I'll switch in to, to Decidueye. I'll, nope. No effect, because it's Ghost type. No effect because it's ghost type. Well then, my best bet is to take an opportunity here to heal up. 
That's not even going to heal me to full. Well, that's fine. I don't need to heal to full, I just need to be able to survive another Moongeist Beam. So that would explain why I didn't uh, resist that, so... Now I can throw... It's, it's kind of low, it's not super, super low. If it gets a couple more cosmic powers, I'll go for a... I'll go for a... Um, acrobatics, which is not very strong. But I want to catch this in a cool ball, though, don't I? What's a cool ball to catch it in? A lot of these are very cool balls. I would love to have it in... Ooh, it'd be cool to have it in a premiere ball. It'd be cool to have it in a quick ball. People would be like, oh my god, you caught it in... But that's going to take a lot of ball throws. So maybe I'll do this... Maybe I'll cut through this last part with all the ball throwing until we... Uh, finally land a successful catch because otherwise you guys gonna be here for a while so let's do that I literally caught it on my first quick ball <laughs> I literally caught it on my first quick ball it's not even on the first turn that's why I love it so much I actually think Quick Ball is one of the coolest looking Pokeballs. Honestly, that's why I love I love having things in Quick Balls. I like Quick Ball. I like the look of uh, Dream Ball. Um, I like Heal Ball for some Pokemon. You registered a legendary Pokemon. Psychic Ghost. Very cool. Very cool double typing. Said to live in another world, this Pokemon devours light, drawing the moonless dark veil of night. Over the brightest of day. Shouldn't it be dark type then? Do you like to give Lunala a nickname? I think you guys know what this must be called. Obviously. It's been Nebby the whole game. There, I can't call it anything else. But I'm not going to use Nebby. Nebby's very cool, but I'm not going to use it. Cause I ain't running no Ubers. She's gonna be so sad that I sent Nebby to the box. <laughs> oh Geo. Lunala, no. Nebby. Yep. Nebby, you belong with Geo now. He will be the one to raise you. Just like any parent should raise their child. This is so sad that I'm not using Nebby. I feel like he should be in my party right now. <laughs> I may not have been able to do anything for you, Nebby, but I'm still glad I took you that day. So go with Geo and see the world. Have battles against strong Pokemon where you can use your full power. Meet other trainers who will make your heart dance with thrill of it all. That's the kind of world that Geo can share with you. If it's you, Geo, I know I can trust you to raise my Nebby well. Take good care of it. And I will go to my mother and to see for myself that she'll be alright. Killer shades, Geo. Killer shades, bro. Nebby. Don't always be trying to get out of your Pokeball the way you almost wriggled out of my bag. Don't forget that you're strong now. You'll have to be careful not to accidentally hurt anyone until you've used until you're used to your strength. And you can't go running off some other world anytime without telling anyone. You'll make Geo worry. This is kind of cute. I like the story of this game. Okay, I'm really, I'm really going this time. Alola. Oh god, I feel for her. She just, she's carrying Nebby around. Now he's mine. He's all mine. He's all mine. Uh, we're gonna have to have something tell us where we're going next, right? Something? Anyone? Oh, the old man. Is it, what's his name? Nanu, that's it. Cripes, but I hate this place. It's exhausting climbing all the way up here. At least you gave me a good show, though. Guess it was worth coming this far. The prof did ask me and all. Look, once you've completed all your island trials and done with your grand trials, then you've got one last thing. The final trial. 
Basically, it's a ceremony, you see. You beat all four kahunas in a row. But things are a little different this year. Now, we're getting a real Pokemon League here in Alola, too. So, boy, I hope you can bother yourself to come along to the base of Alula Mountains, Mount Monakila. You remember Tapu Village, don't you? With the folks doing construction work, he'll be ready and waiting for you there. I suppose you could come along with me. You want to do that? Come now with me? Yeah, let's do it. Arr. Looks like we're on this journey together, then. All right, so it looks like we're going to fight the Elite Four pretty soon. So we're coming we're coming to the end of this game now, which is good because I really want this game to finish before I go on vacation. Uh, final turn. Final look. The Pokemon League should be way at the top of the peak of Mount Lanikila. Are we here now? We at Mount Lanikila. Looks like it. Looking at the map below. All right, guys. So I'm going to save the game here. And that's going to be the end of this episode. And tune in next time as we take on Mount Lanikila. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you guys next time.